Okay, so this article talks about um, rivalry in sports. But so I'm going to use it for room zero just as to have. I have like two articles for the two unchosen doors in that part just to have some background. But I can actually use this for the dynamite article, although it is not talking about about a sibling rivalry and about like family rivalry, just because I can use it as a relation to the comparison of how rivalry like of how rivalry is. And the definitions that they use are pretty good. And then the correlations to rivalry with different things. But it correlates rivalry in sports. And so they want to see how the sports starts off. And then how rivalry is affected. And then what factors contribute to the rivalry among sports. Whether it's from the perspective of the athlete. The perspective of the fans. Or the perspective in the case of other people. Like maybe the coach. But they don't really discuss that one. That in depth. And then they say that it's very crucial for sports. Is the competition among the different like athletics. So the way they interview people. Or like the way they found the data for this. Is that they did like questionnaires. And then in the questionnaires, they had, like, a rated one. So, like, you're asked, like, basically, like, 0 out of 10. So, in that kind of case. And they rated, like, rivalry and how it is effective. And in another one, they did more written-based. And it was, like, um, the different factors that contribute to rivalry. And then the different, like, scenarios or focal points of rivalry. Um, so the results showed that the rivalry among sports is very high and there are a lot of rivalry between different, um, different teams and the fans really relay that. And so in the factors, they found that three of the main ones are conflicts, peer, and bias. So the conflict is... The arguments and such were and such between the the actual teams, peers is between the athletes. So the athletes are either very rivalrous towards each other or very competitive towards each other in a sense that it isn't healthy. Well, not that it isn't healthy, just that it's able to be seen by the other people in the sense of fans. And then bias is when. Let's say you have um, sports, uh, the sports team is soccer. You can use this as an example because if it's, let's say, Colombia against the United States and you're Colombian and then there's American, you're usually biased because you'll go for your country no matter whether they're good or not or even whether you're living in that country because I have friends that are here in the United States but they still root for Colombia because their roots are from Colombia, something like that. And then they found that the variance was notably, like, lowered in the values um, for, um, for the different components of, a solution, of solutions that I counted for. So, yeah. And then because... Um, they did ask for the contributing factors. They ended up putting them into like three subcategories in a sense. One of them's party, the other one's frequency of competition, and the other one's conflict. Um, and they kind of helped to define it. And then like some other ones were star factor and defining moment. Um, and competition of personnel. So that helped to really um like narrow down the factors that were like affecting the rivalry